Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. So today I am so, 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 so excited to open this amazing, amazing, probably actually worth the $50 holiday Tiana doll. And yes, yes, unfortunately, she does say on her box 2024, even though the year is 2023. That's not fair for inbox collectors because now they're going to have holiday dolls that I assume next year will say 2024 without it saying 2023. I know I wouldn't like that if I were an inbox collector. So I do find that very frustrating because they would have to make the mistake on Tiana, a doll of color. Disney, why did you do that? Why did you do that when we finally have a doll of color as a holiday doll? Oh, Disney store. You're so aggravating at times. Mm. But with this doll, I'm going to unbox, see if she's worth the $50, which I feel she is, compare her to my Holiday Rapunzel from two years ago, and then compare her to different Tiana dolls that I have so we can see if she really is the best goal, because she might just be. Before we get started, though, I just want to thank all my new subscribers, and I am planning a giveaway once I reach 2021 subscribers, which might have already happened. I'm not sure because I'm filming this early. If it has, I am going to do a giveaway, so please watch for that. This is for you, my subscribers. It just uh, help, just thank you to thank you for watching my videos. So, um, all right, let's get started. All right, so the box is really nice. It has filigree on the t like the top. It has like this nice green printed on ribbon with the Disney sticker. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Princess Tiana at the bottom. Designed by Disney artists, this Princess Tiana doll sparkles bright and captures the glow of our festive fairy tale beauty. Princess Tiana's warmth shines throughout the bayou and comes to life even more for this magical season. Cherish the holidays with this keepsake collection that's sure to be a treasure for years to come. I'm going to unbox her and I like I said, compare her to the Holiday Rapunzel because I bought the Holiday Rapunzel on sale because even though I love Rapunzel, I didn't think she was worth $50. This, I, wow, I really think she might be worth the $50, but we'll see. Plus her sculpt. Look at her new sculpt. It's a completely new sculpt for Princess Tiana and she looks gorgeous. And um, I just wish it came with a stand because I'm pretty sure they don't come with stands. Which I think for $50, they really should come with stands. But I digress. Okay, let's open this. I'll be right back. Um, wow. 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 Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, she's the best. That's just all there is to it. I'm gonna see if I can take off her coat. Yeah, she does have a little bit of loose hair everywhere. Um... I'm confident I can take her coat off. What I don't want to do, I don't want to take her shawl off. Like it's, it's pinned to her coat because I like it in this like, you know, kind of loosely on her. I think it's a shawl. Is it a shawl? Or maybe a stole? Is that what we call it? A stole? I think it's a stole. But it's kind of like loosely draped on her coat. So I don't want to undo that. I think this is tied at the bottom. Oh, I think I will have to. Because <laughs> I just realized her coat is tied with ties, but I definitely want to take her coat off. If you want to keep the shawl so it's kind of draping like it is, do not cut the ties to take off her coat, but I want to show you what she looks like without her coat, and I want to see for myself. So, so now the stole is loose, but let's look at the stole. So it is a faux fur, obviously. It is white and it has gold tassels on each end. This is really nice. Okay, this is her coat. I don't know what the material is, but um, there is lining on the inside, so I think that's really nice. It feels kind of like a suede material a bit, kind of like suede. It's very nice and soft. It is an Oh, camera doesn't want to show it. It is an off-white with kind of shimmers in it. I don't think my camera is going to show the shimmers very well. I 
don't know if the designs on the back of her coat are embroidery or just printed on. Uh, since there's glitter on it, it makes me think perhaps it's printed on, but it, like there's texture to it. So then I'm like, wait, is it embroidery? But it's sparkly and kind of glittery. So it's this gold glittery design of Tiana's tiara, some snowflakes, filigree, and down below are lily pads. And it's the same on both sides of her coat. So already, uh, now I don't have Ariel and I don't have Tinkerbell, but already I think the holiday Tiana is winning because she has three separate pieces so far. Her stole, her coat, and then the 1920s dress, which she looks so gorgeous in it. So she has these delicate, I think they're supposed to be feathers, but instead they're sheer like pieces of fabric that kind of look like leaves, just this very white sheer thing on her headpiece that she's wearing is gold with a little crystal, fake crystal, in the middle and show you some the side of her head because there is a plastic white feather and then plastic kind of white beads on the side. She has medium brown skin, medium brown eyes, open mouth smile with pink lips. You can see her dimples on her cheeks, some blushing, black eyebrows, black hair that is gelled in a curl style. It's like a ponytail and then curled hair that's very much gelled. She was wearing a pearl, obviously fake, but a fake plastic pearl necklace that is tied into a knot in like a gold bead. And it is tied, I don't know if you can quite tell on camera, but there's like a little loop on the front of the dress that you can cut it if you want it free. I'm gonna keep it as is. Now, based on the top of her dress, I do think that perhaps the filigree on her coat is embroidery because I can tell the glittery part on the top of her dress is embroidery. There is some printed on, like there's some gold little circles that are printed on, but there is a lot <laughs> that is on top of the bodice part of her dress that is definitely embroidery. It's that glittery gold, but it is embroidered and it's gorgeous. And then there is a lily pad on the bottom of her bodice. Her skirt is this, um, what, like accordion style, kind of like an organza. Oh, it's so pretty. It is clear, and then she does have a white satiny feeling skirt underneath. Look at her shoes. They are boots with molded on laces that are white and have a little bit of gold on the bottoms and then black heels. They are so cute. And this is all one piece. She's wearing these delicate lace mittens with white lace mittens with gold ribbon. I am not going to take them off because they'll probably take a while to put back on her hands. All right, she definitely has a new face mold. Oh, she's so beautiful. She does have also on her face, also on her face, she does have a little bit of gold eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna put her coat back on so you can see what her coat looks like without the shawl. And there's no fastens or buttons or anything like that on the coat. I see her coat, um, it's kind of like a loose coat. Like I said, you can't really fasten it. It's just as kind of there as a statement piece. Why does it make a statement piece? And her articulation, she can look to the left, whoops, to the right, to the side, tilt her head up and down. Articulation at the shoulders, at the elbows, at the wrist. A little stiff, so be careful, but she can bend at the hips and sit and her knees, bend and snap knees. Here's what she looks like in the coat without her stole. I think it's coming off as very, very, I don't know, hard to see because there's so much off white on her, but she looks gorgeous in person. Let's see if I can get the stole on. She's so beautiful. All right, let's quickly uh, compare her with my Rapunzel doll. 
my holiday 2021 20, Rapunzel doll. Yeah. Okay, first, Rapunzel doesn't look like Rapunzel. <laughs> I wish they had done the updated face mold or updated her face mold when they did the holiday Rapunzel, but it is what it is. Um, wow. I mean, Tiana has a necklace. She has a headpiece. Rapunzel does have this, like, plastic braid headpiece, but it's supposed to look like her hair. She has this stole, a coat. Let's see. Let's look at the shoes. I don't remember what Rapunzel's shoes look like. Oh, Rapunzel's shoes are boring. Boring. Look at that. I dropped something. It's okay. Though. Just flats. Purple flats. You know what I'm realizing? That I thought that Rapunzel had embroidery. I don't think she has embroidery. So obviously on the long sleeve capish portion printed on, but I think I had thought that on her like kind of faux fur skirt portion it was embroidery. This is actually not embroidery. It's just like, I don't know what it is, like stickers on it? It's not embroidery though. It doesn't feel like embroidery. And I wonder if it might peel off. All right, I'm really glad I got her on sale. Cause, uh, mm. <laughs> whereas I am convinced that this on Tiana's coat is embroidery and on Tiana's bodice is embroidery. Wow, Rapunzel. You don't even have cool shoes. You're my favorite princess. Disappointed in you. Now I'm going to compare her with the other Tiana dolls that I have, which are three others. I'm trying to think if I can hold them all. We're going to try. We're going to try. So as you can see, the two in the middle have a more serious looking face, whereas the ones on the ends have smiles. All right, let's do this all individually. <laughs> but I wanted to try to show you a quick, quick comparison of each of their faces. First, I think the one that looks more, well, not quite as the same now I thought. So this Tiana in the blue dress is from either 2010 or 2011. You can tell that she has a big smile too. But you know what? Compared to the new Tiana, the holiday Tiana, she looks just kind of boring, the one in the blue dress. Boy, okay, the holiday Tiana, gorgeous. You can see she has more makeup. Um, her smile isn't quite as big. I think they changed the face mold a little. So the holiday Tiana has like mostly bigger features. I think her smile is a little bit smaller, but her nose and eyes are bigger. And honestly, when I see the two now, cause I always thought the 2009 or 2010, 2011 Tiana that I had was similar to Tiana, but the holiday one looks like Tiana. Like her face looks like Tiana in the movie. Now is the almost newest mold of Tiana. Uh, that you can buy at the Disney store. This one I bought right before they changed to recycling packages and she is wearing her dress she wears in her dream sequence. I'm just going to take off the coat and stole again. I'm in the stole off of my store, my classic Tiana, just so you can see the differences in the two dresses. So the holiday one um, is more white. Yeah, I think the holiday one, her dress is actually white where her coat is off white. But the fashion pack that I got for the, the classic Tiana doll is definitely an off-white. You can see the filigree and designs are really similar, but the one on the holiday is definitely embroidered. And much nicer material. And then the headpiece that came with the fashion pack was just a plastic feather on a plastic, I mean a big plastic feather, but a plastic feather on a plastic head, headband. Wow, it's so amazing how much the holiday Tiana just looks like Tiana. I hope they change the mold uh, for the new Tiana, like when they come up with the new classic dolls, because she is it. She is Tiana. <sighs> it's like the Tiana dolls I have don't even look like Tiana anymore because of how much the holiday one looks like Tiana. Finally, the designer collection Tiana. Of course, this one has rooted eyelashes, but still, the holiday one is Tiana. 
and I love the designer collection one. I bought it almost for full price. I did have a teeny bit of a discount, um, but I do have her, um, not really a coat, her, mm, the over thing she wore, it's not exactly a coat, but like she has this, I don't even know what to call it, something that you put over her dress, but I have it off because I like her better without the over thing. <laughs> Um, and I do love her a lot. I'm glad I bought her because I think she's absolutely gorgeous. But I gotta say, Holiday Tiana, she looks like Tiana. She looks like Tiana in the movie. And, uh, yeah. I think they better change the mold to a classic Tiana to Holiday Tiana because she looks exactly like Tiana. I haven't realized how much they haven't done a good job on Tiana until they made this Tiana. <laughs> I so highly recommend her. Um, I think the only the only criticism I have, and this has always been the case, so it's not like this is something new, is that I wish she would come with a stand. I feel for fifty dollars, especially since she's like a collector item, um, they can cherish for years to come. She should come with a stand. Um, I think yeah, that's my only critique is that I think she should come with a stand. But other than that. I mean, look at that face. Look at that face. That face is finally Tiana. That is the face we've wanted for years and maybe didn't even know we needed. But we need this. We love it. It's amazing. This is a Tiana to beat all Tianas. And I love my 2010, 2011 Tiana. Um, my store Tiana. My classic Tiana because I had the fashion pack dress on it. And I truly, truly do love, like I do love, and I'm glad, very grateful that I have the designer collection, second edition of Tiana. Um, this Tiana, this Tiana blows them out of the water. And she is $50. She is $50 and you get so much better quality than what Rapunzel was just two years ago. She has embroidery. She has a necklace. She has this fancy headpiece. She has a stole. She has a coat. Embroidery on her coat. Embroidery on her bodice. Awesome boots. This, they went all out. And I'm so glad they did. And she is worth it. She is completely worth $50. I, I did have a discount when I bought her. Because I had a coupon. Um, so she was $40 for me. But, um... I would have paid $50 for her and I bought her right away because I'm like, everyone's going to buy her and she's going to sell out. She's still available. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description below so you can get her, but, um, she's gorgeous. Oh, she does have a little plastic tie that's tying her headpiece on. I'm going to keep that because I don't want to get it off. Um, I mean, come on, come on. This is the best Tiana. This is truly the best Tiana. This is better than the designer collection, which I love. This is, um, she is it. There is no better Tiana as far as I'm concerned. If you love Tiana like I do, get her. Get her. I don't know when she will win and if she will sell out. Um, I think the only thing that might be making her not sell as quickly is because of the mess up on her year, which, again, Disney. Disney, why Disney? Why Disney? Hmm. So that might be the only reason that maybe she will not sell out for a bit. But if I were you and you love Tiana, I would get her and not wait for a sale just in case. Um, Cause she's worth it. She is definitely worth the $50. I can't tell you how much she is worth it because she's worth it. <laughs> um, I would have gladly paid 50, but thankfully I had a coupon. Uh, but she's gorgeous. And I should show her to you while I'm telling you she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I recommend her. Get her. You will not be disappointed. She is the Tiana to beat all the Tianas in the whole entire world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, she's the best Tiana. Like, I still love my other Tianas, but she's going to have to be front and center now. I, yeah, she's going to have to be in an area where I can see her all the time and not up there on the shelf because she's too gorgeous beyond words, and I adore her. Okay, <laughs> um, that'll be it for this video. 
Please like if you like this video. Please share with your friends that they're interested in Tiana or maybe you want to see a comparison between all the other Tianas because seriously, like, you know, I thought she looked more like Tiana, but it wasn't until I compared her. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the Tiana. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, share with your friends and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications so you can be notified each time I post a new video. And um, look how gorgeous she is. She's too gorgeous for words. But remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay young at heart. Bye. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.